Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill for Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering the Cleveland Browns taking on the Minnesota Vikings. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates each and every time we have breakdowns here at Sports Choice Plus. Without further ado, let's talk about it. You're looking at the Cleveland Browns coming into Minnesota and you're looking at Coach uh, Stefanski returning back to Minnesota where he was an offensive coordinator for Kirk Cousins and the company for the Minnesota Vikings for the last couple of years. And you're looking just at exactly how this Vikings team looked. The Vikings team definitely put a thumping on the Seattle Seahawks last weekend. And you're looking just at what the Browns did with the dominating performance over the Bears. This is going to be an interesting game because they know each other very well. When you're talking about Coach Stefanski, his offense is is still uh, 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 similarly being run in eh, Minnesota a little bit. But when you're looking at overall, Mike Zimmer and company with Kirk Cousins, they are playing a little better as expected. Um, you're looking at the offensive side of the ball with the weaponry that they have at the wide receiver position with Justin Jefferson and also Thielen. You're looking at just what Kurt has to work with. When the run game gets going for Minnesota, they're a formidable football team. The defense, of course, does give up points for the Vikings, but you got to look at that as being, you know, you're going to give up points here and there. Um, in this game, Kirk is going to get harassed. He's going to get harassed. That Browns defense, the front four is coming. So he's going to have to be accurate. We saw last week with a couple of those anticipatory throws, he was very good at getting the ball out before the receivers even turned their head and the ball was on the money every single time. You're looking at just exactly what's going to happen. The Browns are going to try to force him to throw the ball in tight windows. And if they take those chances on the 50-50 balls, they could get interceptions because Kirk likes to float the ball a little bit too much. Um, in this offense, on the Browns, they're running the football heavy, 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 heavy. So you did see last week a lot of the running backs are starting to eat for the Browns through the air, on the ground. They're starting to do a little bit more. They got the one-two punch, and you know what's coming. You know what's coming. They're going to sludge hammer the Vikings to death because the Vikings' defense is not going to be able to stop the run of the Cleveland Browns. So I expect a lot of different tight end sets, a lot of different running sets, and I think that that can help them win this game. They didn't focus on Odell Beckham coming back and, and feeding him the ball a million times. They stuck to their offense. They've added him in when they could. And I like that. I like that. Now Odell Beckham is not the sole focus of the offense, but he's a part of the offense. And that's a beautiful thing. So I'm picking the Cleveland Browns to win this one. I think Coach uh, Stefanski will get the better of his mentor, Mike Zimmer. And I think they're going to get in there and get out. I think the Browns are in prime position to really push for one of those top seeds in the AFC for the playoff run. So they're trying to get as many wins as possible. And I think that they have the dedication to do it by sticking to the game plan. Baker Mayfield not turning the ball over, getting the ball to his playmakers in a timely fashion and letting them do the rest of the work. So I'm picking the Browns to win this one in a close game. I think that it's going to be good for Baker Mayfield and company. What do you guys think? Browns fans, Vikings fans, get in that comment section and get it on right now. Let me know what you think about the prediction. And as always, like, share, and subscribe to the videos. And we'll see you on the next video.